Hello everyone. Today is March 6th. I hope that you are having a beautiful day. It's such a wonderful spring day here where I am and I'm enjoying the lake along with a lot of other people. Today I want to talk to you about the matter of a man. I thought about this topic uh, recently, especially with the death of Sidney Poitier. And also, I th am thinking about it more because this is a season that we refer to um, as Lent for those of us that are Christians, as L-E-N-T, Lent. It's uh, the days between the initiation of this season, uh, which is Ash Wednesday, until Easter Sunday or Resurrection Sunday. So, this is a time that where most Christians do a lot of self uh, reflection, looking at themselves and things that are not so pretty inside of them, things that are not of God things that are not pleasing to God and I started thinking about how we look at people how we judge people how we look at the exterior of a person we judge people on various things we judge them on their age whether they're young or old their gender, whether they're male or female, or maybe they want to uh, claim some other gender. We look at the color of the person, whether they're white or black. We look at the ethnicity of the person. We look at the occupation of the person. We look at the religion or lack of religion of the person. And we look at the socioeconomic status of the person, just to name a few things of how we prejudge people, which is very concerning. And notice I said how we judge people. I'm including myself. We forget that we were all created by God. Not one of us can get up in the morning on our own powers. Uh, if God chooses to take our breath away, then we are gone. We are dead. We can give nothing else to this world. Not one of us can give life just out of nothing. Yes, we can have a woman and a man get together and then there is a child that is formed. But not one of us out of nothing can make a human being. But yet we so quickly judge people on what we see, on what we think they are, on what we think they're able to do or not do. Again, I'm guilty of this too. So many times, you, when you get to know a person, you realize that they're not even the person you thought they were. They're not the person they appear to be. And that is why God does not look at our outward, physical being, but he looks at our heart. And if many of us would do that, we wouldn't have war. We would be able to get along. We would know that the same person that created us, I, you, created us all. I want us to think about that. When we think about judging somebody, just remember that we are all created by the same God. I'm going to give you two verses to think about this week. 
um, as you think about the matter of a man, think about these verses. Let them sink into your heart and into your mind and ask God to help you to look at people the way he looks at them. The first one, and both of these verses will come from 1 Samuel, excuse me, from the NIV version. The first one is from 1 Samuel, verse chapter 16, verse 7, and it reads as thus. But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not consider his appearance or his height, for I have rejected him. The Lord does not look at the things people look at. People look at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. The second verse I want you to think about comes from Hebrews chapter 13, verse 2, and it says, Do not forget to show hospitality to strangers, for by doing so, excuse me, for by so doing, some people have shown hospitality to angels without knowing it. In closing this video, I would like to encourage all of us to treat people like we want to be treated. To take a moment and not prejudge people by their outward appearance. Give them the chance to get to know them. And even if there's something about them that you do not like, it's not your to like. Okay, you were not given the task or the job to judge people. That is not your job. Your job is to love people. You don't have to like everything that they do, but you need to love them. Many blessings are lost because we fail to love people. May you have a blessed week.